Hi, I'm Greg from Yes Putters. Welcome to a Yes Putter Fit. Today we'll take you through the stages of having the most important club in your bag fitted so you get the best results out of it. On the fitting days, we introduce people to the Yes Putter. The patented C Groove technology sets it apart from all other putters on the market. The C Grooves are angled up at 20 degrees, just like a saw blade, to impart forward roll on a golf ball. All right, today we just, uh, Jace has come along to have a putter fit. Uh, we use an esoteric machine here for a very quick fit that gives us a guide of what length of putter and what lie angle of the putter. So I'm going to ask Jace to grab the, the test putter here at the top. Um, it has a moving shaft here. Now what I want you to do is push the shaft in, get into your normal comfortable posture. I want to see your eyes over this red line. Now I just want you to move around and push it in until you get comfortable where you normally are. And then we'll have a look at that posture. You tell me when you're comfortable. Yep. So we lock that off there then, okay. Then we bring in the measuring device. It's designed for the machine. And we'll just pop that on there and it gives us a quick read of a 32 inch putter at 70 degrees. Now that's where we start from. Very quick and simple. And that's where we can now start to fit a putter for Jason. So what we do then is we'll go to uh, the S putters that we have in our days that are cut at all different lengths and lie angles and we'll 34 inches, 32 inches, 31 inches and we'll find a putter that's approximately at the results that Jason come out with at 32 inches and which we'll take this one here I know that's 32 we'll just give that to Jace take his normal posture so that's sitting okay so we're around about we're around about on the mark with that. Okay, so we can go back on our esoteric now. When because it's locked in and it's in, we'll get Jace just to make a couple of strokes back and forwards. What we do with this machine is that putting path is set up to the optimum putting stroke. We start at square. We go back to 10 mil on the inside, square to 10 mil on the inside. Uh, it's so-called the, uh, the tour optimum stroke. At all stages this head is locked, it's mechanically locked in which means the putter face is square to the path at all times, which is what we're aiming to do. And Jason can make a couple of strokes and that's giving Jason feedback now what a correct putter stroke should feel like. Now what we did, our next step then from there is, once we've got the putter and that in the right length, we unlock the head and what we do is we give Jason total control of the head, which means it can open and close, but what we want, we're trying to see with the unlocked head that the putter face is still square to the path. So back and forwards, back and forwards Jason please. If we go back here you'll see, we'll try and stop it on the way back, you'll see that those lines that match up now, what Jason's doing is opening the putter face on the way back. Whereas what we need it to be is square to the path there. It does make it feel like it's a little shut, but it now gives Jason feedback to what he's actually doing in his, in his putting stroke. Once we move off that, we can then, um, we've got the putter at the right length for Jason, the right lie angle, his posture, we, we look at the grips, um, and everything we're aimed at here is to improve the putting stroke which is the most important part of the game. If you're having 36, 36 putts, 37 putts, we can get you down to 30, and it's the easiest way in the game, easiest part of the game to improve your handicap. Also, part of our putter fit experience, once we get you in and recommend you a length and a lie angle of a putter, we have all our putting aids displayed on the green, which we take um, all the people through. Here we have the true plane, the Yes true plane. Uh, like the esoteric machine over here, the shape of that true plane is angled at 10mm on the inside and 10mm on, on the inside on the way through in the putting stroke. It's very easy to work for anybody at home. They can stand there in front of the TV. It's set up to the optimum as long as the heel of the putter runs along this black line. You should be able to make a putt. That's the optimum and it gives people some muscle memory and some feedback that keeping the putter face square to the path. Another aid that we uh, demonstrate on our day is the yes putting mirror. Simple, people can take it home, but what it does, it gives the golfer instant feedback. We recommend it for short putts. Line it up to the hole, 
because it's a reflective surface. It gives you an indication of where your eyes are, whether they're over the ball, whether your shoulders are square to the target, and whether your putter face is square to the path. Very good for practicing short putts and taking the putter away. And gives the golfer feedback. We've just released a, a new mirror um, from our experience with the tour players who, who travel with this have told us it's a little big and we've just produced a little mini mini version of the mirror which we can add a rail to that gives them feedback whether they're making correct contact with the ball and a lot easier to travel with. Now after we've got the putter fitted, we've, we've got all the specs, we've got, been through the mirrors, we've been through the rails, the true planes, um, if people are still having trouble and a lot of players do is in alignment with a very simple tool, the S it's called the Yes Esoteric Square Triangle. Feedback straight away and it'll tell the player where his alignment is in his putts. And we'll just demonstrate that now. With Jason, what we do is we find a dead straight putt. It must be a dead straight putt on the green. Um, we'll place the ball down. What I'll give Jason the ball, what I want Jason to do is align that putt. It's a dead straight putt. I want him to set it up so it's aligned dead center of the hole. I need Jason to tell me when you're ready, when you're aligned, when you've got that, yep. when you're ready. Okay, I don't want you to move, so what we do is we'll take the ball away, we place a square triangle in line with the correct path, the putter face is square to. And I'll get Jason to move back behind the square triangle. And if we have a look straight down that grey line, it's pretty good, but probably an inch right. Now, everything else is working and the alignment's off, you can still make a good stroke and a good putt and be out there and come in and, and miss some putts. It's like a day you've come in and you think, geez, I putted well, I felt, felt good, but I didn't make anything. Such a simple little thing, it could be alignment, it could be aligning just a fraction off. This little tool there is a, a great invention to give you instant feedback. Okay, once Jason's aligned himself and we've stepped back, we've had a look that he's aimed a little right, to test this, we put the ball down, and we asked Jason to make a putt following that grey line and it really should miss to the right. The other performance that the little square triangle can give you, you'll see there's two red lines. Now when you're over the ball, if you see both of those red lines evenly, it gives you an indication that your eyes are over the ball and you're in a good position. The grey line at the back here when Jace puts his putter down, show him whether his putter face is square and aligned where he would like to hit the putt. Okay, putt slightly missed to the right. Great little tool, the square triangle. Square triangle, as with the true plane, the mirrors and the other putting aids that we display on these days, the performance group golf professional will have them in his pro shop for you to purchase.